Oof! Uh, how are you guys doing over there, baby? It's Bishop Heels from the ECF Forums and Host on Vape TV. Oof! Uh, I gotta tell you, man. I gotta tell you. Oh, I am vaping up a storm over here. I have here the Stellar V2i. Yes, sir. Woohoo! Here it is, baby. Ooh, and there it is. Ooh, let me tell you. This thing is hitting like a beast. Totally a muff driver full of titties, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, fa, I tell you. But, hey, we got to talk about this Addy because they did some revisions on this Addy versus the version 1. Version 1 was extremely fantastic, as many people enjoyed. But this just got better. Totally better. Oof. -a. And let me tell you. Let me tell you why. I have here, which I need to clean out the cotton, remove the cotton. But it comes, <coughs> there it is, with copper poles. Woohoo! Yes, copper poles. Let me focus that for you so you can actually see it. There it is. Look at that. Yep, it is not in gold. It is totally, totally copper, as you can actually see there. Yep, yep. And first initial thing was, I got this from Mo Vapes, so I gotta say thank you for that. He gave me a great deal on it. Um, I got it from him, but before I got it, I was actually talking to him about this particular Addy because my concern was that it's copper poles, and it was like a little bit. It looked a little bit oxidized in color, and um, being that they have a sonic cleaner, I said, you know what? If you wouldn't mind, can you dump this in the sonic cleaner for me? And I was like. He was like, no problem, no problem, anything for you, Bish. I'm like, okay, thank you so much. So we, we removed the screws um, on the Stellar of the posts, removed the O-ring, um, and as you can see, it's also a copper as far as on the 510 side too. Now, when we dumped this in there, believe me when I tell you, I mean, the guys, you know, they saw how it looked before. I wish I took a snapshot of it. Um, and it pretty much looked like any copper mod, like after it just starts going off in color. Um, that's pretty much it. So we dumped this in the Sonic Cleaner, and this thing just came out shiny. I mean, it looked like extreme shiny. No, it's not World of Warcraft, but shiny. It was just shiny, man. So it looked good, you know. And everything, from what I can see, there's nothing as far as, like, peels or anything coming off as far as on these poles. They look they look totally, totally great. Let me uh, bring that up for you so you can actually see it. There we go. So this is what it looks like, okay? Now, what I have on here is uh, four wraps on each end using 24 gauge Canthal wire, which comes out to about point, um, point 0.15 ohms is what I'm actually getting here. Now, on another Addy, I can actually get about 0.25. That is the... Um, the, the difference when you're using more of a connectivity metal um, as far as on these poles it's going to hit harder and you're going to be getting lower resistance which is even better so that means I, I really could go and do something about close to six wraps on each end to bring it up a little bit of a notch but just to show you where we're at well there it is 0.15 like I said so I mean, on my next build, being that these coils, I put these in on Saturday, uh, what I'm actually going to do, I have yet to remove this cotton. Yep, and it's time to remove. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm going to actually start removing this cotton and putting in a new new layer of cotton. You guys already see me do micro coils. That's pretty much what I have on here right now um, as far as on this, on this uh, Addy which is pretty much the same build that I did on the Dominator um, a couple days back. So what I'm actually going to be doing right now is just, I'm just going to be literally, well, let me just tighten up the, the wires just a little bit of a hair if, see if it's a little loose. And you know what? It wasn't even loose. It was pretty snug. It was pretty snug. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to remove the cotton. So we can give it a dry burn. And that way I can show you 
because some people have been asking me, they go, Bish, when is it time to remove cotton? Well, it's time when it starts um, giving a, a altered taste. And what I mean by that is, if you look at this cotton, um, the one I'm just starting to pull right now, let me see if I can focus that for you a little better. You see that? It's a little bit darker here, okay? And the wraps are here. So I'm actually starting to yank this so I can show you the difference versus clear, clean, and what's been used. Now, once it starts getting this, it's going to alter the taste. And also the coils itself is going to get a little bit gunked up, as you can see right now. It's a little bit gunked up. So we really want to remove that um, as, as, uh, as frequent as you can so you, get, you can benefit the best out of juice. And this is what it actually looks like. You see that? It's a little bit dark area. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that's normal. That's normal. So, toss that out, and let me start getting this one out, very gently. Now, if you guys do want to see me do a, um, a build on this device, I'll be more than happy to do that in a later video, but um, it, it's pretty much the same. I really, really like this build, but just to show you, this is what it would look like after you actually remove the cotton and that way I can show you the poles there you go okay so I'm going to give it a quick dry burn there you go and there's some excess juice on the base which is fine but as you can see see it's an even even glow you know you don't have to replace these coils these coils will last me a good period of maybe three months four months uh, if I just keep doing this, you know, taking care of the coils. Now, when I do this, it'll clean the whole entire coil. The whole coils, the two coils are going to be clean. Watch. Now, I'm going to zoom it in for you so you can actually see it. See that? So now all the gunk is gone. Look at that. It's totally gone. See? It fires up evenly. See that? Beautiful. Now all I got to do is cool it down a little bit while I get the uh, the cotton ready. But how you guys doing in the meantime? Chilling, chilling, enjoying this summerly weather. I tell you that we're having. So I'm actually going to be using cellular cotton right here. Is what I'm actually going to be using for this build. And as a matter of fact, that's what I actually used initially. Yes, sell you cotton. Absolutely. So I have some in the bag. Uh, where's my scissors? Okay, so I cut a layer off, then I divide it in half. And I start rolling it. Very, very simple to roll. And I love doing this because, you know, working with cotton, it's, it's like one of the best, best flavors that you can actually get. You know, and it's just so simple. You get yourself a very, very nice coil um, on your Addy. And you could just leave it there and just do a nice little dry burn like I just showed you. And you're good as new. You know, and it lasts. I mean, when I do these coils for people, they last for like, you know, three months, two months. But it varies if you're going to take care of it or if it's just going to sit there with the same uh, cotton and you change the cotton once in a while. Well, it's going to gunk up the coil so much that it's just not going to perform as well. You know, it, that, that that's, that's the other issue that people run into. But, um... If you take care of the, the wraps and you do this like every week or so and just replace the, uh, uh, the cotton, and it all depends because maybe you're, you're jumping onto different, different juices. You know, I mean, I, I, I do that all the time. I'm always jumping on juices. So it's, um, I may have to replace it like after three days or two days. It all varies. So I'm just cutting into a little bow tie just like that. There's the first one right here. 
Now I'm going to do the other one. And it's that simple, you know. It's very, very clean. Not too overly challenging. At least I don't think so, you know. And, and the people that I've actually shown, they don't find it to be challenging at all. You know, they kind of enjoy it, you know. So it's just a matter of, I guess, personal preference, you know. There we go. So cut this. Cut that. There we go. And look how quick that was, okay? So it took me like less than two minutes just to change cotton, you know, <laughs> in the wraps itself. But let me give you a little bit of a close-up shot so you can actually see how this looks. There we go. See that? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding juice. I'm gonna add some chai tea from Fluid. Ufa. So, what I like to do is soak it up a little. Just like that. And just enough so I can start positioning my wick. And how am I gonna position my wick? Very simple. I'm going to snug it underneath the wraps. Very simple. Just like that. See that? Just like that. And I do the same with the other one. So it looks like that. Do the same with the other one, with the other coil. I'm just bringing it down. There we go. So it looks like this. Okay. Woofa. Woofa. Tell you, oh, -ho. so now we take the stale air sleeve. Now, this is a little bit shorter in height versus the, the other stale air. So, I'm actually serial number as you can see 1739. Yeah, boy, put that in. Now, it's pretty snugged when it goes in, and that's pretty much on purpose. And what I like to do is, as you can see here, you can see the wrapping right there, dead center dead center same thing on the other side dead center okay that's that's how i roll forget about it Oof -ah. so and this is as you can see i can lift it with the drip tip okay and they made this very very not so much resistant so you can actually see that turn it so if you just want to use one slit okay and keep the other one closed as you can see this one's open this one's closed versus you know both of them open okay and you can adjust it okay as far as the throw if you want a little bit closed halfway or completely open so I'm just gonna leave it about pretty much almost up there okay and enjoy it there so let's have a fake shall we Oof -ah. oh Wow. It's just, it's just crazy the amount of vapor you get out of this. Oof. Uh. Ho, ho. Insane. Totally insane. Now, the wick is new, so I got to break it in a little. Let's add some more juice in there. Last thing I want to do is burn it. I just put it in. Oh. Woof. -a.
So, this is the still air, baby! Ooh, version 2. Version 2. Ooh, and she kicking ass, baby. <coughs> totally, totally kicking ass. Now, <coughs> I have it on here, on the Ronin. Copper to copper. Man. She bitching. She bitching. But, you know, I just really wanted to do a short video on the Stellaire. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be coming out with uh, a little bit of a different coil build on this, uh, on a different video. I just wanted to show you pretty much the performance on this. And those those copper posts, man, makes a big difference. Big difference. Especially on ohms. Big difference. Oofa, oofa. Now I'm getting more heat out of this version versus version one. Doing the same wraps. Before, um, a lot of people already have seen me as far as with version one, and I've already explained to them that, you know, in order for me to really enjoy it, I have to go really, really extreme sub ohms, or I have to double stack batteries at a little bit higher resistance, is the only way of doing this. Um, but on this one, it could be on one battery, on an orb. 25 and it's just working ideal flawlessly as you can see I mean it's just totally totally insane it's insane this Addy totally insane Oofa. totally insane totally insane Lairu, thank you over there at Mo Vapes. The guys over there putting in the sonic clear, cleaning it out for me. I totally, totally appreciate it. Though this thing was ooh, blinging. Totally, totally blinging. Oof. -ah. Um, they still have some stelaes left. I don't know how much, but they're running pretty quick. Um, but this Saturday, they're going to have their monthly meet. Yeah, this Saturday. So if you're in the New York area in Brooklyn, come on down to Mo Vapes. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a vaping jam, that's for sure. It's going to be from 6 o'clock to midnight. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to go a little bit over. Who knows, you know. After a few drinks, I'm pretty sure Ladu is going to be going off his yonkers like always. But um, <laughs> he's a fun, fun guy. Totally fun. Oh, foul. Oh, so with that, I'm going to keep the video short. Live hard, baby, and vape hard. Forget about it.